Hey guys, this is Dustin with Get Some Dirt Time. Um, I wanted to put this video out because this is a product that I've seen, I've seen on uh, that new Dave Can that new show with Dave Canberry, uh, Dirty Rotten Survival. And it's that meal tape he uses. Now, I saw this and I was like, it's just like webbing. I can get a, I can get some of that to make gear out of. Um, the problem, sorry guys, I got something in my eye here. The problem with this though is if you watch, it is super bent, and super flexible. It's, it doesn't have a lot of rigidity to it, <clears throat> like uh, like the strapping on a bag. Since I just did that fishing video, the strapping on a bag is pretty, you know, holds its form. This stuff, this stuff will roll on you, it'll twist up, it'll, it won't hold its shape very well. But, uh, for my people out there, for the people out there looking to possibly get some of this, uh, but they're, they're, they're the kind of guys like me where it's, they're sitting back going, I don't know what that feels like. You know, I don't know don't know how it'll hold a knot. You know, Dave Dave can tie a knot in just about anything. Don't know if I can tie a knot. Well I'll tell you what. I ordered a hundred foot hank of this from Self Reliance Outfitters. Uh, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like it was under ten dollars, I don't remember. But needless to say it wasn't a, a three thousand foot roll or a thousand foot roll you know or it's like 60 50 60 bucks and then you're stuck with something that you don't even know if it'll you know you don't even know what it'll do so I played around with it a little bit and uh, I shot another video on my phone I just can't get to upload it's taking forever so I had to reshoot the review on it my dislikes one is it's really flimsy and flexible two if you notice the ends do not come finished. At least not when you order it from Dave. Um, it melts real easy, just like paracord. Um, I do not have a lighter handy, and I'm not going to get up and walk over and get one. Um, it's not a. It's not a. It's not a real big deal to me. So, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't even close to being a deal breaker for me. But, anyways. You hit it with a lighter a little bit, melts together, squish it, done deal. Um, but if you do have, the other downside is if you do have a frayed end, it'll unravel. Now, for guys that like breaking bigger cordage down into smaller cordage to use for other things, this has got tons of it. I mean, you could, I don't know what you could do with it, but it's every every little pieces a bunch of strands together so it gets pretty thin it gets like thinner than human hair thin but uh, once again I digress but as for holding a knot this stuff holds a knot like crazy like I mean just tying a simple bowline in here um, <clears throat> it, it, it's to describe it I would I would, I would describe it it's feeling like a snake skin and it feels real slippery so you'd think a knot would slide out easy but I mean that bowline knot sunk in real tight I haven't experimented with too many other knots because I haven't had really an opportunity to do it yet but as soon as I can I will but uh, as far as getting them undone and this is the other thing I was worried about is once you get a knot in there Will you be able to get it out? I mean, or will it just tension down? But I mean, seriously, it just just falls right out. And the the ease of which it comes out is just very it's very uh, deceptive how how well the knot will hold. And I mean, it's I mean, even if you tried to just pull a hank of it over and put it into a loop. Like a what I don't know what it's really called, but I call it a loop knot. Um, it comes out super easy. I mean, it's 
Now, granted, I haven't put a lot of strain on it. Like, I haven't put a trailer hitch on it and tried to, like, ratchet it down real super tight or anything like that. But I'm very pleased with it. I'm very excited to get it, get this out and get some, get some, do some lashings with it. Because I think this stuff will do lashings like a beast. Because where it's got the flex from side to side when you twist it, it's got almost no stretch. Which, I mean, you, you, everybody knows that you grab a piece of paracord between your hands, you can, you can stretch it a little bit. It's got some elasticity to it. This doesn't. This is fairly static. But we'll see what happens when I put some real load on it. I think the first chance I get, I'm going to probably lash this around a big tree and then, and then use a come along to see how much stretch it actually has. And then I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know about it then. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, it's, uh, it's, Dave in, in Dirty Rotten Survival always refers to it as mule tape. It's also been called, as I was looking for it, people call it drag line as well. Because supposedly what it's for is to run through conduit to pull big bundles of wire through the conduit. Um, at least that's where I've been finding it. I've been finding it on electrical places. Um, you know, electrical supply houses and stuff like that. Uh, but as far as the weight, you know, it takes up more space, yes, than, you know, this is a hank. This is a hundred foot hank of it right here. You know, it takes up a lot of space. This is a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. I mean, you can you can see how much space it takes up compared to the bottle. Um, but it, it's got heft to it. It weighs a little bit. But I don't know, man. I I would I would almost feel comfortable climbing with this because it says it's says it's rated at 2,500 pounds. You know, it's got 2,500 pounds written right on it. So, I'll give it a try. I know how to fall. Uh, no, I figured making some lashings out of it and putting it through its paces and, and then uh, doing another video on how it worked out. Uh, I want to try and crank out one more video. I got to kind of look around and See, see what I can make a video out just to put it out there and, and get get a get some uh, get some more uh, uh, activity on the channel. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. If anything, you get to sit there and laugh at me. Uh, see you next time. Next time, guys. Thanks for watching, Dirt Time.